Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Craft Computing, and I'm Jeff. So let's say you've just built yourself a brand new gaming desktop. You dropped every last dollar you had on that new video card, and gosh darn it if you didn't forget a keyboard. So you get on Amazon and you find the cheapest thing you can, maybe a Logitech K120 membrane keyboard. You sit down, you game with it for a couple of days, and you think, this thing sucks. So what's it got to do? You jump onto Amazon, you start looking at all the mechanical keyboards like all your cool friends have. But you don't want to drop $100 on a Corsair K70. No, you want the best bang for the buck you can possibly get, because that's why you're watching this show. So you pick up this Velocifier keyboard with a brown switch that claims to be just as good as a Cherry MX. But is it? Well, let's find out. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Velocifier TKL01 mechanical keyboard with brown switches. To start out with first impressions out of the box, it is a little bit weighty given its footprint. It does sport a metal backplate which makes it quite rigid with almost no deck flex when typing or gaming. On the bottom of the keyboard, there are three rubberized pads as well as two retractable feet for incline adjustment. The feel overall on this keyboard is quite good. Each key does have a tactile and consistent bump at its actuation point to let you know that you've pressed it. They're light enough to be pressed easily, but enough resistance to know that you're pressing it. Anti-ghosting on this keyboard is very well implemented as well, with no noticeable drops on the keyboard while bashing keys like a drunken fool. There are two models of this keyboard available, the 104 key full version, uh, I opted for the 87 key 10 keyless version given its $10 cheaper price. The teal backlight on this keyboard is going to be a love it or hate it affair as there are no other options on background color, or key switch flavor for that matter as brown appears to be the only option. If the included double shot APS keycaps aren't quite your style, you can swap them out. Uh, the Zorro brown switches that are on this do have standard Cherry MX stems on them. Uh, in my case, I swapped uh, some of the red gaming keycaps from my Corsair K70 daily driver. Uh, I really like the effect it gave this keyboard, and like I said, you can swap it out for whatever you want. There are media hotkeys on the top row that are accessible by using the function button. Uh, it does toggle some other features as well, and I'll get to those a little bit later. This keyboard may not be for everyone. It is missing a few features that I would like to see on keyboards made these days, uh, such as a USB hub on the back for plugging in your mouse or any other hot swap peripherals. There's also no included wrist rest on this keyboard. Uh, I'll certainly need to pick one up as it was starting to torque on my wrist. Your mileage may vary in that case. There's also a few, we'll call them curious features on this keyboard, uh, such as remapping WASD to the arrow keys. Why you would need to do that in 2017, I have no idea. Uh, you can also disable the control and windows keys. One of those is kind of useful, the other, not so much. I'm not sure why they had to disable control as a feature. When it comes to keyboards, personal preference really does trump all, especially when it comes to the look, feel, usability, comfort, and features of a particular keyboard. All that being said, I would absolutely recommend this keyboard to anyone looking to get into a mechanical switch for the very first time. If you're a seasoned Cherry MX vet, this may not tickle all of your fancies. Uh, it is a little bit softer and a little bit spongier than what you might be used to. Uh, as a first time mechanical user, you're going to be very, very happy with this, especially compared with the membrane keyboards you've been coming from. And hey, at the end of the day, this keyboard is only $30, so I would say well worth the risk uh, for the possible investment and payoff in performance. So thanks for watching this one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, drop me a like and a comment if you like this video. I really do enjoy hearing your guys' feedback. Uh, as always, I will catch you next time. Cheers.